All right, today's deck we'll be using will be four Marines, two Stealth Blades, three Snipers, four Rocketeers, three Engineers, three Energy Beacons, four AP Strafings, one Triton, three Shotgunners, two Grenadiers, and one Goliath. Um, I have Stealth Blades and Snipers because there's a lot of tanks at the lower elos. Today we will be finally breaking into Diamond. Um, if I start seeing less tanks, I'll probably switch out the stealth blades and put in something maybe like a couple catapods, maybe another engineer, maybe another shotgunner, uh, maybe not another shotgunner though. Um, I feel like I'm missing a card that I normally use in my main deck, but I can't quite remember what it is. Um, uh, yeah, so those are really the only cards I would be using, uh, if I were to change the deck at all. Um, I think my main deck, I don't have the Stealth Blades, and I have both Foodie and Leon in. Um, but obviously, on this free-to-play deck, uh, free-to-play account, getting uh, Legendaries is a tad bit harder. Um, like I've been saying, the only currency I've been spending is gold. I've only used Soul Stones to get the Legendary, um, the 500 Soul Stone Legendary key puzzle rewards you get. And then I used um, Soul Stones to buy one beginner pack for each faction um so other than that i've just been saving my soul stones um i don't think i'll need to spend any until i get to master once i get to master i'll probably have to buy more starter packs to be able to get high enough level cards or enough cards to be able to really compete i don't need both a stealth blade and a sniper otherwise this looks great i would like some rocketeers oh perfect my energy beacon's getting nerfed next season which i'm excited for uh, it's a little too strong. I think the nerf is going to be nice. I still think it'll be used. I th maybe it should be... Well, we'll have to see. Because I can't say exactly how it's going to perform. But I'm thinking maybe like another 5% to the attack speed. Base attack speed would be a good nerf. But, uh... I mean, the nerf they're doing now is significant. So I don't... You know, better not to over-adjust. Uh, yeah, I can play a Triton here. And I'll be able to do quite a bit of damage. I'll play a Shotgun here. I'll get some AoE damage going. I don't think that cleric's going to help him too much. Oh, to kind of get the heal off. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. I'm just going to save my soul. This is a pretty threatening already. But I don't think adding anything will really add any threat. So I'm just going to wait and defend against whatever they have. I have two energy beacons and an AP strafing in my hand. That kind of means I don't have the ability to apply too much pressure. To the board at the moment, but I can respond to things fairly well. Right. I'm gonna play an energy beacon and prepare to play a sniper behind the shotgunner, especially if they play something big. Oh, all right, Greenwood Archer right there. They're probably gonna play. Ooh, there we go. Oops, grenade here. Uh, well, that's a little unfortunate. I wasn't fast enough. I believe my Grenadier should be able to take it. Yep. That's uh, something I really like about Grenadier with the Energy Beacon, is that it repositions units, especially ranged units. It'll make them, well, miss, really. Or I mean, retarget is what I should say, rather than uh, miss. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yep. <laughs> I should have waited to play them. Uh, I forgot that the Tubby was going to come out at that time. Oh. What the... Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, the only times I don't like to play Marines is when I have an energy beacon up for uh, fairly obvious reasons. Oh, I have to play something. Put another energy beacon. Because they have so many units that it... Uh, the A Marine will likely always be the one that gets targeted. I'll play these Marines here. Hmm. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. That worked out so perfectly. Okay, cool. I didn't hit them. Ooh, he played two. All right. Uh, but I want to wait. 
Um, if I can just get something up there to tank for a little bit, and then I can play my... Deploy my Marines with the skill, and then even get an AP strafing in there, get the 60% damage buff. Uh, I think that'll be a uh, game. Well, that's another thing that I really wanted to nerf that they didn't do, is AP strafing, the, the damage. Uh, ah, shit. That's not going to target properly. Oh, well. I'm not too worried. Um, like I said, I just need to get up, be able to deploy my... Uh, Marines, actually, if I last that long. Let's see if I can displace it. And I couldn't. Okay. Um, that was me. I misproperly used my AP strafings. Um, if I position them a little bit better, I think I definitely uh, could have defended against that push. Um, I didn't notice any tanks aside from the little um, legendaries there. So I'm actually thinking of removing the stealth blades. Um, trying to think of what I would want instead. I'm thinking this. Uh, I believe I can level up my riot trooper. Indeed, I can. Only once, though it seems. Or yeah. And again, I'm not. I haven't used any dust yet. I don't plan to. Again, probably until I reach masters. With this account. All right, I don't need an engineer. If I don't have an energy beacon, right trooper's more of a defensive thing for me. That should be fine. Okay, terrible pulls. I didn't need a shotgun because I have both Goliath and AP strafing. I don't need an engineer because I don't have an energy beacon. Um, but Rocketeers is always a safe start. Uh, Red Witch, that's fine. I believe my Rocketeers will be able to uh, beat the Red Witch because of its slow attack speed. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, I need to learn to wait. <laughs> Let's see. That oh, should be fine. I can play a shotgun when they get closer. So I'll just leave the Rocketeer to the thing. All right. Mm, depending on what else to play, I'm probably going to have to end up playing the Riot Trooper and then deploy some Marines afterwards. Uh, they're playing Empire, so they'll probably play a lot of cheap units. Oh, wow. Or not. Oh. She got pushed back enough to where she uh, retargeted to the tubby, which I guess is beneficial. If I get to play some Marines and then play an AP strafing, uh... oh, especially if the right trooper targets. If he gets targeted, oh. Let's see. we'll do this. And do this. All right, and when it gets over to the uh, enemy guardian, I can deploy the marines. I won't have enough to, well, I might be able to get an AP strafing in there. Oh, perfect, and it'll also target the, uh... all right, that's game, I think. Um, AP strafing is extremely strong, <laughs> just because of the uh, debuff it puts on enemies where they take extra damage. I believe it's flat 60% always. Well, uh, let me double check. Yes, it's always a flat, so no matter how much you level up, it'll always be 60%. Uh, and that's that's huge. Especially when you especially when you have the ability to essentially, um, you know, put Marines wherever on the map that you need. So I'm getting rid of the Engineer because I don't have an Energy Beacon. I'm getting rid of the Shotgunner because I already have AP Strafing and another Shotgunner, so I don't need two of them. 
This is a uh, fairly good hand. Um, like always, I believe Rocketeer is kind of the safest card to start with. Um, I normally don't start with energy, or I try not to start with any energy beacon, but it's also a very safe start because, you know, it just doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to hope I pull a... Nope, I really needed a Grenadier. Grenadier is perfect against Space Assault, too. Um, alternatively, I can play this Sniper here. And deploy some Marines here. Oh, the sniper can't even one-shot them. Alright. Oh, that is not what I clicked. Okay. I wanted to play the shotgun. This is very, very sad. Right, I'm going to play the shotgun and put it on the sniper. Just make sure it doesn't get hit by anything. Oh, that makes me so sad. I'm going to play another shotgun just so that the Marines don't get targeted when the other shotgun... By the, um... Red Witch when the other shotgunner dies. Um, I'm looking to deploy Marines as soon as I can, as soon as it gets targeted. Oh, actually, I'm going to AP straight from these instead. And now I'll deploy the Marines. All right, well, my sniper's gone. Uh, we did a good amount of damage. I think about 2,000 damage to him. Um... He's got a lot of those coming. I think Rocketeers will be fine. Another faceless altar. I'm not too concerned. Yeah, doesn't really have anything to do. Oh, well, that's the best AoE thing uh, he's got. Not too concerned about it. I have another shotgunner in case uh, there's more faceless stuff. Faceless hands uh, deployed after all of my units die. Uh, I think I'll play an engineer here just to heal up a bit. And now I can play some Rocketeers behind me. There's no more ghosts coming out. Um, I'm going to play a shotgunner. And a lot of... A, ooh, and a goliath. Perfect. All right, so hopefully I'll get three soul again relatively soon. So that way I am able to deploy. Yep. Ah, the goliath died. How unfortunate. All right, I have a grenadier. I don't know why I just have not been pulling them, these matches. But it will help a lot. In this situation. Yeah, I play an engineer to tank for it. And, uh, yeah, I'm also going to play Marines just to make sure I don't die. The Grenadier is just so strong. Another Faces Altar is the... The Fabled Three Faces Altars. Yeah, I'll play a Triton on the Grenadier. Get it, give it some more damage. And now I'm fairly confident in my ability to win. Well, he played a Storm Cellar defensively. That's not going to do anything for him. All right. We can play another one. Oh, no. I forgot about the time. What a shame. All right. Looks like this will be a tie. Yeah, there's no way to do that much damage. All right. Well, welcome to uh, the worst I've done on one of these videos. One win, one draw, and one loss, which is uh, a net gain of jack shit. But um, sometimes it's like that. You can't win them all. Um, even, even if you are at a higher skill level than the current level that you're at, and even if your cards are even, you're still not going to win them all because there is luck involved and other things. Um, that's why most games have it where if your win rate is at like 51, 52%, you'll continue to climb, albeit slowly, but you'll continue to climb. Um, because obviously if you're winning more games than losing, then you're better than the tier that you're in, or at least performing better than your peers, because the average win rate will always be 50%, because in every game there's two people. One wins, one loses. Uh, of course there are draws, but you can pretty much like stretch those because they don't affect ranking at all. 
So the average win rate is 50%. So if your win rate is above average, then you should your rank should increase. Um, the reason that doesn't happen so much in this game is because there's a lower pool of players and there's also a wide range of skill levels you'll play against. Uh, I think they just updated matchmaking. I'm not sure how. Um, I was busy yesterday, so I wasn't able to check any of the updates or anything. But there's a... Um, because you can go against people that are like 250 trophies above and below you, which is a whole um, rank, essentially, uh, it kind of skews that away from you being able to climb with 60%, especially if you're constantly going against people that are lower than you. Like I said last season, uh, in like higher masters, you're just constantly going against people that were 300 trophies below me. Um, so if you didn't have at least like an 85% win rate, you were going to lose trophies because you would lose 50 trophies on a loss and only gain six or seven on a win. So you'd have to win like seven times to make up for one loss. So you need like an 85% win rate just to stay even, I think. I think 80% was to stay even. I think with 85, you could climb, which is ridiculous. It should never be like that. Um, they're obviously, Rayarch is going through efforts to improve this, and they've been doing great, slowly working at it. Um, so I'm excited. I'm hoping that fixes itself in the future. But uh, when you're in Diamond, um, on average, I think you will go against people that are your skill level. So all you have to do is maintain, especially if you maintain like a 60% win rate. If you win 6 out of 10 games, you'll definitely climb and get up to Masters fairly quickly. Um, so of course, you know, sometimes you'll have, and it's not always going to be like win 1, lose 1, win 2, lose 1, win 1, lose 1. It's going to be sometimes you're going to win 10 in a row and then you'll lose like 4 in a row. And when you start losing a lot, remember, you know, take a break because um, you're going to get tilted. You're going to play worse because you're going to feel worse. And you're like, man, I'm playing like shit. And then that's going to make you play even more like shit. So, you know, just take a break. It's a mobile game. You just switch it off, go do something. And then whenever you remember it again, you're like, oh, yeah, I like this game. I'm going to go play it some more. And then hopefully you'll be in a better mood and you'll play better. Also, generally, you're going to play worse on your first game of the day. Just because, I don't know, you kind of have to gear your brain into being able to play. That was my first, the first game was my first one, uh, game of the day. So a little, little slow there. And I just came back from working out. So I'm like extremely brain dead. All right, so we finally reached into Diamond. Um, this is low Diamond. I'm probably going to get the trophies out to around 1,100 uh, when I go through again, but coming back onto uh, Republic. So next time you'll see me, you'll see me playing games around 1,100. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, analyzing, seeing losses, in my opinion, can be a lot more helpful than seeing winning games um when you're trying to improve which is why i've been starting the coaching session which i believe i should be posting another coaching video tomorrow um i'm trying to figure out i have lots of people that have um requested to get, uh yeah to have offered themselves up uh to be have their games reviewed uh however don't don't let this discourage you uh from asking or uh, giving me your information uh to have your games reviewed as well um, it's nice to have a larger pool of people so I can get more diverse, um, you know, diverse content out to, you know, help other people. So, uh, if the reason you have sent it in is I've said, oh, thank you everybody for sending in stuff. I have so many options now. Um, don't let that discourage you. Feel free to still add me on the, in the game. Like I said, my information's here. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong account. <laughs> it's Ariel Snack, like 1170, I think. I have it on other videos and it's posted in comics and I'll have it in the description for this video. Feel free to add me in the game. Feel free to add me on Discord. Uh, I'm on the Soul of Eden Discord all the time. Uh, and just message me, get some replays that you want. Uh, replays last a long time, if not forever. Um, so even if I don't get to you this time, if I get to you next time. Um, and like I said, I like having more options to choose from so I can get more diverse gameplay um, that reviewed. So I can help a wider range of players. All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. Oh, sorry for this super long-winded rant at the end. Um, just had lots of thoughts. Wanted to get out. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And as always, best of luck climbing.